Nigel Marvin, a time-traveling zoologist and a man who has had his fair share of close scrapes with dinosaurs. But the Earth has witnessed more terrible monsters than these. What Nigel is about to learn about prehistory is that no matter how bad things get on land, the one thing you should never, ever do is get in the water. Nigel will be traveling back and forth through prehistory to visit seven different time zones and dive in the seven deadliest seas ever. Each sea he visits will be more dangerous than the last, with bigger, nastier predators. Creatures it's hard to believe once lived on this planet. And of course, He's saving the worst till last. Nigel's first stop in this perilous navigation through time is a period called the Ordovician. To get back there from the 21st century, you have to go unbelievably far back in time. Back before the Ice Age, before the first humans before even the dinosaurs. The Ordovician is a mind-boggling 450 million years ago, so far back that plants have yet to evolve. It's a world ruled by creepy crawlies and fantastically unsuited to humankind. But prehistory has worse still to offer. The next deadly sea is the Triassic. To get there, Nigel has to travel halfway back to the 21st century to 230 million years BC. It's a time when reptiles are taking over the oceans and the first dinosaurs are only just appearing. down, five to go. The next encounter takes Nigel back deeper into the past to meet the armored fish of the Devonian. Predators that are quite literally as hard as nails. I'm using the time map to get my head round where I've been. These spans of time are so immense. My first adventure, I went all the way back in time 450 million years ago to ride an orthocone and tussle with those sea scorpions. My second dive, that was 230 million years before the present day. That was with those bizarre sea reptiles. We're now here 360 million years ago. Welcome to the age of giant armoured fish. But there's no time to rest on laurels. They've yet to reach the halfway mark in their voyage through the most perilous seas of prehistory. Ahead of them are four more ever deadlier encounters. Next up, our time-traveling crew heads to an era closer to the present day. In fact, it's a mere 36 million years ago, which is midway between the extinction of the dinosaurs and modern day. It's home to the meanest sea mammal that has ever lived. Next in store is the Pliocene, the time when our earliest ancestors were starting to walk upright. It's surprising what lived in our seas just four million years ago. It's time for Nigel to leave this, the third most dangerous sea behind. Next lies the Jurassic. To reach it, he has to travel back from four million to 155 million years ago. The Jurassic is right in the middle of dinosaur time, 
and it's home to some of the most colossal animals ever to live on land, outweighed only by the monsters that live in the water. Hold on, Nigel, you're not done yet. That was the second most dangerous sea, which means time to enter Hell's Aquarium, the most dangerous sea ever. It's just a short hop forwards from the Jurassic to 75 million years BC. Not long before a massive meteor plows into the planet and marks the end of the dinosaurs. That same cataclysmic event will also be the end of most of the sea monsters that we're about to meet.